15 Canva Tips and Tricks for Beginners Hi guys! For today's video, I will share with you 15 Canva Tips and Tricks for Beginners that you must know and apply today so that you become a better designer and make your Canva work more easier and faster. So without further ado, let's get started. So if you don't have an account yet here on Canva, then you can create your account or sign up for free. Just click the link in the description below to sign up for free. And here's the tip number one, single key shortcuts. So just press the letter T from your keyboard to easily add text. And then press letter S to add square shape. Press C for circles. And press letter L from your keyboard for lines. Tip number two, selecting difficult layers. Sometimes we encounter this issue that you have big elements here at the top and other elements are at the back. And before knowing this, I always do or move the top layer which makes extra time and sometimes destroy my design just to select the layer behind it. But here's the tip, just hold the command key from your keyboard if you are using the Mac and control for Windows user and then click your mouse. For the first click, you select the first layer which is the top layer. Second click, you select the layer behind it. So that's how you can do it. Tip number three, quickly add images to Canva. Stop doing this, going to your upload tab and upload your photos or videos. You can simply go to your computer files and then drag and drop photos or videos that you want to add in your design. And if you have photo from internet, simply select the photo, copy and then go back to Canva and simply paste it. With this method, you can save more time and also save space from your computer because there's no need for you to download your photos online to your PC. Tip number four, duplicate images and text easily. So normally you do this, select the elements you like to duplicate and go to duplicate button up here. But there's an easy way to do this. So just select the elements and hold the control D for Windows user or command D for Mac. Or you can also do hold the option key for Mac or Alt key for Windows and then double click your mouse and drag it and here are your duplicate elements. Tip number five, crop images on Canva. So Canva doesn't have the erase tool but you can just make use of the cropping tool to remove some part of the elements that you don't like. For example, this heart icon over here, I just want to use the half heart. So I will just select the element and then up here click crop, then crop the shape according to your like and then click done and now I have this half heart. Tip number six, how to add a drop shadow text effect on Canva. So just select the text and then go to effect and select shadow and now you have the shadow added to the text. You can also adjust the offset of the shadow, the direction, make it blur if you want to, transparency and lastly change the shadow color. Tip number seven, moving elements with arrow keys. Sometimes you found it difficult to move the text or elements a little bit because you might not able to handle your mouse to move a little bit but you can make use of your arrow keys instead so just select the elements or text and click your arrow key from your keyboard it will move one pixel at a time but if you press your shift key then the arrow key it will move 10 pixels at a time as you can see tip number eight adding gradient background to your design Simply go to elements and then search for gradient and here just choose this square gradient. Just resize it to cover everything and then let me send this to back and here you can change the color as well like the first color and the second color. Now you have the gradient effect background. You can also flip the background according to your like or you can also rotate it. Depends on you. Tip number nine, faster zoom in and out. Sometimes we have small text added to our design and we want to zoom in and out to see it more clearly. And normally to zoom, we do this, click here, and we have different percentage here if how much you want to zoom in. But there's an easy way to do this from your keyboard. Just press and hold your command key for Mac user and control key for Windows user. 
then just use the plus and minus key from your keyboard to zoom in and out. Or you can also make use of your mouse, just scroll up and down. Tip number 10, add great lines to perfectly align your elements or text. Sometimes it's quite challenging to align your elements or text, but to make sure that you align it perfectly, you can go here at the top left corner and then click on file and select show rulers and guides then over here just drag the line and now you have this line as your guide to make sure everything are aligned tip number 11 grouping elements so if you want to group multiple elements to become one element you can do this first from your keyboard press and hold your shift key to select multiple elements so select all the elements that you want to group then press your Control G for Windows and Command G for Mac users. Or you can also click this group button up here. And now you can move and resize all of this element as one. And to ungroup it, just select the group again and then click and group. Tip number 12, how to remove a background. Take note this tool is available to Premium Plan. So here you can upload your own photos, but for now, let me just search on Canva Photos to use. And I will just add a photo here in our design, and then click on Edit Image, and select the background remover. And it may take a second to finish removing the background. And here it is, background has been removed. Tip number 13, use frame for mock-up. So just go to your elements and here you can search for frames. And this type of elements means you can add a photo inside the elements just like this. So just drag your photo inside this frame. Tip number 14, create YouTube intro. So here you can also easily create YouTube intro or short videos. Just first create your design and you can animate it. There are different animation here that you can select from and you can adjust duration and also you can add some music or audio and once you're done you can save it as mp4 tip number 15 social media graphics so here is the best thing about canva it's perfect tool for social media designs for example here from the home dashboard just search for instagram and you'll see different format here for instagram let me select Instagram post and here you can see Instagram post templates. You can either use this design templates or you can also make use of this to edit or customize your own design. You can also do like YouTube thumbnail. And as you can see here, these are also the template for YouTube thumbnail that you can make use of. Or you can also make use of the Pinterest design. So just search for Pinterest. And also you have the different design template here that you can make use of. That's how easy you can create your social media design using Canva. And I guess those are the 15 Canva tips and tricks for beginners that I want to share with you guys. Hope you like this video and I hope that you also learned from this video. So if you don't have an account yet here on Canva, then you can create your account or sign up for free. Just click the link in the description below to sign up for free. Thank you so much for watching.